Hey, how's everyone doing today? I, uh, I've been thinking a lot about career pathing and uh, everything involved in that today. Uh, I've had jobs that are basically stack the block jobs, you know, button pushers, essentially. If you read uh, David Graeber's BS jobs, and those are annoying to be a part of. At the time that I was there, it was um, very emotionally detrimental, mentally taxing because you're just doing something menial all day long. It's annoying, right? And later in my career, having jobs along those lines was uh, less of a mental drain and more of just uh, doing what I got to do to get by. Uh, it was totally fine. And then I've had other jobs that were incredibly mentally taxing, uh, very, very challenging. You know, whether you think my IQ is 75 or 4,000, it was challenging. And so I'd go home exhausted, having done no exercise, just trying to think my way through problems. And yeah, I mean, that was a little less mentally taxing uh, as far as the like, what am I doing with my life <laughs> kind of thoughts. <laughs> um, but uh, it was also a big drain on energy, right? So like, which do you prefer? What do you want from your life? With all the effort you put in, to improve yourself, to improve your income, all that jazz. Uh, what kind of job do you want? Do you want something that makes a huge impact? Do you want something that pays a lot? Do you want something that's mentally challenging? Do you want something that's the uh, button pusher job? What I've been thinking about today is how disillusioned I'm becoming with that question. That, that question is so linear it's, there's only one way to do it. you got to be employed. you got to, how do you get a better job? How do you enjoy your job more? How do you learn the new skill to get to the new job? It's so one path, <laughs> linear, like I was saying. I'm not quite sure the right word on it, but uh, this year, I started making some software that I'm hoping becomes... A series of products that I can turn into a business on the side. Great, great, great. And I'm not quite sure what exactly those products will be. I have some idea and it's in an area where people will definitely be interested. But uh, how do I convert what I'm building into something that people will spend money on? That's a problem for tomorrow. But this whole process of just sitting down and doing something that I'm enjoying, I feel productive doing, and I could see tangible benefits as far as income for my family goes, has changed my view on where are you working? What job do you have? How important is that? I'm no longer thinking of jobs as the main source of income, right? And those of you who have followed over the past few years, you, you know I've branched out into different entrepreneurial paths, whether it was through tutoring or trying to put out different advertising, starting an XYZ website. Sure, sure, sure. But this feels different. This feels more more organized, more uh, consolidated, given that experience in the past, given working a handful of corporate gigs where you you dive in and you get to see stuff all the way from the state level all the, uh, to the private sector startup area. You know, <laughs> Working for a startup is very fast-paced, and you see all how the pieces move together and... Um, it's very different from a big company. Working for a big company, you just feel like a, a little cog in the machine. You don't really see how it all works. But I, I think working for startups kind of sped up my entrepreneurial ability. In, however you want to describe that. I'm no expert on this in any way. I'm just kind of spitballing because this, this morning I was thinking about the best times of my life and where I am now, and how that all relates to a career, and what even is a career. And I'm just not sold on this idea that the, the only way to get ahead is to get this master's degree, and get this new certification, and then you get a higher paying job, and then you're principal engineer at Amazon or something, which is great, good for you, if that's where you're at. But I don't know, it's, it's like, um, it's seen through the curtain. You know what I mean? Like that's just a 
another version of the hamster wheel. Yeah, I could get paid multiples of six figures doing that kind of thing. But working for myself, learning how to scale that, learning whatever product these uh, softwares I'm working on actually become, I feel like that scales better. And yeah, it might take 20 years before I even make one dollar. But let's just say, as a senior engineer, I can make between 70 and 150,000 a year. Okay, not bad. Maybe as a principal engineer, you know, you work your way way up, you have multiple years of experience, you know exactly what you're doing. You're the hot shot, right? You're principal engineer making 250,000 a year somewhere. Awesome, that's great. Those are rookie numbers for small independent business. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying every business has crazy wide margins or anything like that. I mean, a restaurant's gonna be very different from a uh, software as a service company, for sure. But uh, 250,000 in annual gross income is small cookies for a small business. No hate, by the way. If that's what you make with your small business, good for you. That's awesome, get yours. But uh, the point I'm making is the scaling of it. If you can find a way to scale that small business, you're going to leave the principal engineer's salary way behind. And that's before taking in any bonuses, any, any benefits that that incurs. Uh, obviously, running your own thing is a lot of work, right? Especially if you add employees to the mix. I mean, it's, it's just a different beast. And so that, um, all that considered, right? That's what I've been thinking about today. Uh, I went from a place of extreme boredom with the button pusher jobs, extreme challenge with the startup job, and each one of those kind of defined me in a way. And then I got to a place where it didn't matter what I was doing. I'm going to work because it provides for my kids. I'm going to work because, you know, I like having a roof over my head, and it is what it is. I get my enjoyment from life elsewhere. My job wasn't defining me anymore. Okay. And then I start building this software and I realize, oh my gosh, you can, you could make the job. <laughs> you could be the boss. You could scale this way higher than the million percent effort you're putting in to just be lead engineer, you know, for someone else. So that's what I've been thinking about a lot today. And um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little confused about the next few steps to take. There's a lot of uncertainty surrounding it. Uh, so what if you've got a database full of data and you're gonna run some analyses on that and figure out how to put that data into something tangible that's useful to others, that will service others, and they'll trade you money for that service. That's great. Sure, that's one thing. Uh, the uncertainty comes in because it could be a complete wash. <laughs> it could be an absolute failure. And then there's a little glimmer of hope that comes into my mind as well of like, so what? <laughs> so what if it's an absolute failure? Uh, you'll learn from that too and it'll compound and you'll move on to the next thing. The, the learning, the experience will compound and you'll understand things better and know a, a better direction to move in. And that's, um, that's so much more comforting so much more inspiring than the idea of I'm gonna get my level three cert so that I can apply to the uh, big corporation and get taken care of there. I'd much rather do it on the uh, on my own elbow grease, <laughs> on the strength of my own back, till my fields. <laughs> mm, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to figure out if I'm inspired by this. I'm going to give it my all and like, how do you describe that? Like if I'm wasting my time because that principal engineering position will, you will get there eventually. And the entrepreneurial side of things, like I've described, you'll get there eventually. But I don't have a lot of, of uh, inspiration in my life for how that could work out. And so it's, um, it's kind of like a journey of faith in a way. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to do this right now and it's all going to work. 
We're going to get there. And honestly, that, that hope for a better future based on my own efforts is way more inspiring than <laughs> becoming principal engineer for a big company. Uh, that, mind sh bleh, that mindset shift that I was talking about earlier where you're not defining yourself by your job, that, that applies to this as well. Because so much of my fulfillment comes from my family. It comes from my involvement with my community. Uh, what I'm doing to create money in my life is such a small part of it. And I, I really hope I can develop that a little bit more. You know, it's just a small part of my life rather than this focus of like, oh God, I gotta scramble and pay off the student loans and make the next paycheck next month. Like, you know, I wanna lower that almost to zero because it's just a distraction from the wonderful things in life. Oh, I was gonna show you a picture of my kid, but we don't put our kids on the internet. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. All right. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much for listening to this ramble. What are you dealing with right now, career-wise? Um, are you bored with your work? Are you looking to upgrade? Are you thinking of doing the same thing, like making your own own business somehow? Whatever that is, from restaurant to SaaS company. Let me know. I'm really curious about other people's journey on this. Uh, any, any emotional feedback that you're feeling with yourself, any doubts, any struggles you've overcome. Um, Maybe you're like me and you have no idea what you were going to do, but you just know you have to do it. And I'm really curious to hear your story. So talk to me soon. I'm getting this video production thing down, okay? I'm going to be putting out some more videos soon. We've got the office set up and I am terrible at scheduling this because it's like one thing to another. But um, thank you for watching. Have a great day and good luck.